Frederick Barney is a taxi driver in Accra. At least he is now. He came back earlier this year after more than a decade in the Netherlands as an illegal immigrant. The Dutch government funded his return, then bought him a taxi to start a new life. Yeah, I want to tell my people who don't have papers in Europe and stay struggling, we have to come back to Ghana. Because with God you trust. God will help you with the small money and start something small. Now I start my own business from Netherlands government. Paying for migrants' new lives is one way to get them to return. The other is deporting them, but that's harder to enforce and expensive. In terms of cost effectiveness and the sustainability of migrants coming back, creating a decent life for themselves and wanting and having the means to stay uh, in their communities, I think you have much better results with voluntary returns where the migrants receive the support to start a business, to recreate a new life, to reconnect with society and the community. Frederick came back as a businessman, not empty-handed. It was the only reason he returned. Failed migrants know the horrors of trying to get to Europe, and they want other Ghanaians to know too. Eric's bus broke down in the desert. They had to walk. When the food and water ran out, he saw his friends starve to death. People think Europe is heaven, but it's never like that. You are not going to pick euros on the street. I have a lot of friends who are actually suffering and they won't actually want to come back home. But for fear and shame and disappointment that they have nothing bringing down here, they don't want to come. So Europe is very, very tough. He says he's tired of seeing people die trying to reach Europe. He hopes sharing his experience can make people stay in Ghana. Susanna van Oemse, BBC News, Accra.